Hi, I'm Robbie. And I'm Rick. And this, and this is, is Living, Living Wild. Wild. Today, we are exploring habitats. When I think of the word habitat, Habitat! I think of animals. You know, animals kind of like the polar bear that live in the circumpolar arctic, or koala bears that live in the eucalyptus forests. So look around. There are no koala bears here. Why is that? That is because we are in California right now. California has the same Mediterranean type climate as Western Australia hot dry summers and mild wet winters. In fact, there are only five places that have a Mediterranean type climate. Right here in California, Western Australia, Central Chile, Southern Africa, and the Mediterranean Basin where the great city of Rome began. And the habitats found in each of these five places are very similar. Here in California, the habitat is called chaparral. In addition to common habitat type, the Mediterranean type climates also have a common latitude, 30 to 40 degrees north of the equator for California and the Mediterranean, and 30 to 40 degrees south of the equator for central Chile, South Africa, and Australia. So here we are, we're trying to figure out what chaparral is, and I'm a little confused about it. So we're searching this farmland here for some, wow, it's John Keeley, just, just a moment, John. Yeah, yeah. This is the famous John Keeley. And who are you? Um, Do I know you? <laughs> Rick Halsey. Rick Halsey. Yeah, well, nice I, to meet you, I learned quite Halsey. a bit about Chaparral from actually you. I read your papers. Oh. Um, in fact, you I sent... didn't know anybody read those papers. <laughs> so, so I would like you to help us understand what Chaparral is, could you? Just... Well, Chaparral is, Chaparral is is a bunch of shrubs. Shrubs? Shrubs, shrubs that grow really close together, and it's almost impenetrable. You impenetrable. Can't get it. It's 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 a thicket. Yeah, and you can see it growing up there on that hill. So that whole mountain there is covered with chaparral. In two of the Mediterranean-type climates, Central Chile and Southern California, it's right next to the ocean, and there's a mountain chain, a pretty steep one, right next to the coast. And so that provides a great trap for air and water, which is in the air. And what happens is the sun hits the water, the air soaks up the water, and then it moves up slope to the mountains. So as the air goes over the mountains, it gets colder, and cold air holds less moisture than warm air can, and so it starts to rain. It rains. It rains. And so it starts to rain, providing moisture for the chaparral at higher elevations, more so than at lower elevations, hence thicker chaparral. One of the best places to find chaparral are in the national forests all over California. Right now, we are at the Los Padres National Forest. Even though it's not much of a forest, it's more of a shrubland. So why do they call it a national forest? I mean, where are all the trees? Let's explore the chaparral. So the best way to explore a habitat is to be able to identify the major plants. And in the chaparral, which is right behind me, this is Ceanothus chaparral. The plant we're looking at, Ceanothus. Let's go see some more. Onward! Ceanothus megacarpus. You can see the big seed pods, hence the name megacarpus. I'm laying on a bed of manzanita leaves, dreaming about manzanita berries. We're in the manzanita chaparral now, looking for animals, and oftentimes they will see you, but you will not see them. So this is the silk tassel bush. You can tell the difference between the silk tassel bush and the manzanita because the silk tassel bush has leaves on the opposite side of the stems. Look, see, there's one here and one there. The manzanita, however, has leaves on the alternate sides of the stems. Alternating. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds really funny. <laughs> right now I am in the middle of one of the most common shrubs within California. This is known as Schmies. This here is like it. You can see it on this very shrub. Toyon! Some people think this plant is responsible for the name Hollywood. However, the name was actually a name that the developer's wife liked for unknown reasons. 
This is mountain mahogany. You can tell because these feather-like seeds fly off into the wind just like that very helicopter right up there. This is the madrone. It's related to the manzanita, which you can probably tell from the red bark. And you don't find this except in Central California and Northern California. There's a few stands in the South, but for the most part, it needs a lot more moisture than the South can provide. Everything that you see around us right now, this is all chaparral. chaparral.